بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Welcome guys to the Zanabia Saturday School I'm very happy that you guys came on this cold morning I know it's hard, it's not easy to wake up early in the morning I know from my own kids <laughs> But Alhamdulillah, uh, this is a great occasion that we are starting today uh, On January 22nd, uh, 2022 Alhamdulillah, this, we have to be very thankful as well because we're kind of coinciding with what event? Can anybody tell me? What's the event this weekend? Anybody knows? Anybody? Okay. This, this weekend is also the birthday of who? You know, <laughs> what, what is it? You can say it. No? <laughs> okay. So this weekend is the birthday of Fatima to Zahra the Lady of Light, the Lady of Heaven, all right? So this is a very happy occasion. And we're happy to begin our Zanabia Saturday School on this happy occasion as well. This gives us a lot of hope and a lot of uh, optimism that we're gonna have a successful Zanabia Saturday School where kids will learn the Islamic teachings and where they will learn to be better Muslims in general inshallah inshallah so i mean uh, i'm going to start with just a you know small introduction of who i am the the whole point of that is so basically people know about the saturday uh, you know zanabia the saturday school um the more people know about it there's, there's a lot of community around here you know they should take advantage of this beautiful place um and send their kids here so their kids can learn. You know, it's, 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 it's a benefit that is being wasted, really. Uh, and why should it be wasted? It doesn't need to be. Uh, I'll give a small introduction of myself. You know, when people know me, my name is Moeen Ahmed. Uh, people call me Moeen Bai. Um, I've been coming to this center since the late 1990s when I was in college. So when I was, uh, you know, a uh, couple of years ago, no. <laughs> and so when I started coming here, um, of course, at that time, um, you know, things were different. And we started sitting here and doing exactly what we were asking you to do, is to come learn Islam. We came here to learn Islam. That's what we came here for when we were young. And we started here something called the UMO, the United Muslim Organization. And what basically what it was was that it was college students, us college students, myself, brother Walid, brother Mansoor. There were other people here at that time. They're you know they're now of course gone their own separate ways. But we used to come and discuss Islam here every Friday night. And Friday night was the night, and it still is, is considered a night to hang out to go outside with your friends to dinner or movies or whatever. But us college students at that time decided, no, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out too. But we're gonna do what we like. And what we like is to discuss Islam. So we used to come in here and we would sit in a circle right here and there would be a topic of discussion and we would discuss it. And we would talk about it. Either, either we're reading a passage from a book or you know, we're discussing some ayah of the Quran and, you know, and occasionally Dr. Hatim would be here sitting with us and discussing too. And so what happened with that? You know, I look back and I say, how important was that in my life? Because these kind of things set the foundation for what's going to happen in the future. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here, is plant the seeds. So you guys have an Islamic seed inside you that will become a nice, beautiful flower. And you have that potential. So what happened with our group? We have uh, one of our brothers that was here, uh, Sayyid Samir Ali, he's a Maulana in Milwaukee. And you know, he, he's a resident scholar. We had another brother, Brother Mansoor Rizvi, I think he's, a, uh, he's also a scholar, he's in Houston somewhere. So, 
and we have brother Walid who you see, you know, give the Juma khutbah, and I recently pushed myself to start doing it as well. So I mean, the the point is that you know these these things matter. You have to invest in the community. You have to invest in the in the next generation because the next generation is what's going to be the handlers of the Zainabia. There, you guys are the future, and you have to learn the Islam and the Deen so that you can tomorrow sit here and give the same speech to your kids and to your grandkids. This is called the cycle of life. This is how it works. Um, all right, so that's that's you know that's just the introduction a little bit. What we're going to do at the Saturday Sunday uh, Saturday school. Uh, for the NFBA. I'm going to now talk about uh, the setup. What are we going to be doing? Okay. Inshallah, when we have more kids, we're going to have a better setup. But right now, for, for right now, we're just going to keep it very simple. And we're going to keep adapting as kids are coming. We're going to keep adapting to the new situation. We're not, there's no any fixed, uh, you know, written in stone kind of situation. We're gonna play it by ear and by trial and error, and inshallah, we're gonna have a successful uh, Zanabiyah Saturday school. To begin with, we'll have uh, two separation of classes. Um, a junior class, which will be from ages five to 11, which is the non balik the children group, okay? And then we're gonna have the senior class, which is gonna be from 12 years old and up. And it could be as up to, uh, you know, even adults can, can come sit here, the parents can come sit here, because we're gonna be talking about the same things, you know, usul ad deen so there's no, and the, in the senior class, there's basically 12 and anybody else can sit down and, and, and learn. Um, so these will be the two sections. The senior class will sit right here, and the junior class will sit on to our left in the ladies' section sister section and there's a TV over there too so hopefully we can utilize that for teaching and what are we going to be learning we're going to have two classes so the first class will be the Quran class uh, which will go 45 minutes and we're going to be learning the Quran in that class and the next class is going to be the Terbiya class so it's going to also be 45 minutes so we're not going to keep it too long we're gonna keep it short and simple and very directed so nobody loses attention. Okay. Um, and guys, if you have any questions, you can ask me at any time. All right, so let's go a little bit into the Quran class. Uh, what are we gonna do in the Quran class? In the Quran class, first, we're gonna to try to do a, a Quran assessment evaluation for each person because the Quran is a little uh, tricky in that everybody's at a different level. So we're gonna try to get in the first three, four months, everybody at least to some kind of a basic level. So that, you know, um, because our purpose here is to study the Quran and not to learn how to read the Quran per se, like from the beginning, like if some, I know one of you is on the Qaeda, right? Yeah. Unless we get like a specific teacher for that, it'll be a little complicated for us. For, to that. But inshallah, we're gonna you know we're gonna figure things out. But the point is that we're gonna start with getting everybody at a, at a, a basic level that we can teach the Quran in the sense that to uh, it's recitation. We're gonna work on recitation, and we're gonna work on the meaning because we wanna teach the Quran like the because the Quran is the message, right? It's the manual of life that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given to us. This is how. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly talks to us through the Quran. So we want to learn what he, what is Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to tell us, the main purpose. And there's two things in that. The one, the Arabic itself is part of the religion. You have to learn how to pronounce the thing correctly. So we have to learn how to read the Quran correctly. It's important. The other bigger important issue for us is to understand its meaning. What is the Quran telling us? What message are we getting from the Quran? Because it's just like a manual. 
like if you have, for example, uh, when you want to learn how to drive, you have to read the driver's manual to learn how to drive. Right? So for us, it's the same way. Is how to live life. The Quran is the manual, and we have to learn what it says, the meaning of it. Um, okay, so that's basically the Quran. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, how we're gonna go about doing that is, we're gonna start the junior class, you know, and that's in the future, but for, uh, the junior class will start from the last seven surahs and memorize them and with the meaning. And this is how we're gonna start to get everybody up to a standard. And the junior class will start from Surah Al-Qadr and go all the way to Surah Al-Nas with correct pronunciation and the meaning of every surah. That's the, so this whole phase from Surah Al-Qadr to Surah Al-Nas and from Surah Al-Qawsar uh, to Surah Al-Nas will be like the trying to level the playing field so everybody's at the same page. And then we'll start from the beginning. From uh, I know some of you are already in the middle. You're on the seventh already, but it's okay. You can, you know, we're gonna we're gonna start from the beginning and go all the way to the end. Uh, correct recitation and meaning. Okay, next is the Terbiya class. So what are we gonna be learning in the Terbiya class? The Terbiya class is basically all the other things that are not the Quran. It's just. Uh, we're going to be learning usul al -Din. We're going to be learning furu al -Din, right? All the ahkamat, all the principles, the pillars of Islam, the foundations. We're going to be focusing on ikhlaq. Uh, ikhlaq is basically what? Ethics of the, how to behave. The etiquettes of being in a masjid, right? This is the house of Allah. So when you're in somebody's house, you have to uh, behave properly. Imagine today that uh, somebody took you to the White House in Washington, D.C. Can you go in these clothes? Can you go just like that to meet the President Biden? No, right? You're going to dress up. You're going to wear your best clothes, best sho your best shoes. There's a proper etiquette to go to the White House. Just like that. This place is more important than the White House. This is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to learn the proper etiquettes of how to behave here and how to properly, um, you know, get, gain what we came here to do, to gain information, to gain is, uh, Islamic knowledge. So we're gonna discuss all those things. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, the Salat. We're gonna talk about the Namaz. Right? We're going to discuss the namaz from the beginning to the end with all its meaning. We're going to talk about uh, the history of the prophets. From Adam all the way to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, 